focus on your third eye. And we're going to start the breath of fire as you breathe in and out. Hello, my name is Maryam Ktet and uh, I've been practicing yoga for the last 21 years. My uh, passion for well-being, uh, whether it's through physical exercise, meditation, uh, breath work, was always a, a constant in my growth journey, whether it was in medical school or later on in work and uh, working with corporates and different patients. I started uh, learning different types of yoga uh, for the last 10 years on and off and uh, recently was introduced to Kundalini Yoga. Kundalini Yoga was um, uh, taught by Yogi Bhajan and uh, he talks about the um, technology of sound, uh, your breath, um, the kriyas, which include asanas, the movements in your bodies, and how everything comes together to create a, a sensory system uh, which helps your central nervous system, which helps your mindset um, elevate and have the resilience to cope with uh, everything that's going on in the world, which is very much needed in our time. Today we're going to be trying out the Ego Eradicator. And it's one of my favorite postures because it includes the breath, it includes um, the asana, the posture, it also includes the mind. And uh, there is also some mantra. Of course, in Kundalini Yoga, there's a lot of mantra and chanting. But in this posture, the mantra is ch chanted silently with the mind. Um, so we're going to start now. OK, hello. hello. <laughs> uh, any class of Kundalini Yoga needs to start with um, the chant. Uh, on Namo Gurudev Namo, but today since we're not doing the full set, we're just going to go ahead and start with the posture. Okay, so take a deep breath in, raise your hands to 60 degrees, make sure that the, the fingers are facing me, your thumbs are outwards, the tips of your fingers are on your palms. And now close your eyes, focus on your third eye and we're gonna start the breath of fire as you breathe in and out. This Kriya is usually done for a minute and can, can go up to three minutes. Um, as you are breathing in and out, the breath of fire has so many advantages. It eliminates any toxins from your body. It helps you release any energy blocks and kind of reconnects you with the mind. The chanting of the mantra Sat Nam within your mind uh, brings truth and identity, reminds you the truth is your identity, connects you with your own authenticity. Take a deep breath in and hold the breath, bring your thumbs together, open your fingers and move your hands away from each other, brushing your aura, cleansing your space. Thank you, Sat Nam. So how was that experience for you? Well, I feel very stress-free because it's been a long day and I feel very relaxed. Um, you know, sometimes uh, during the day there's so much, you're running around and doing so much of work. I think this is a time when I felt I have let go my a long day, you know, stress-free. So I, yeah, I feel much better. A Kundalini Yoga class would usually involve um, the tuning in with the mantras the Kriya, which would have different asanas, one of which the breath of fire and the ego eradicator that we tried, and it would end with a meditation and a um, chant, often also with a pranayam. So uh, the breath of fire is one of the pranayams. It's a breathing technique. Breathing helps you reconnect with your body, increase the oxygen supply, and kind of flush out the toxins. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you.